Dr. Swarchla, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. There are several anatomical defects of the uterus that can cause infertility or increase the risk of pregnancy complications. Let's look at some of the most common. Uterine fibroids. Fibroids are benign tumors that grow in the muscle tissue of the uterus. Depending on their size and location, they can interfere with the implantation of a fertilized egg or block the fallopian tubes, making it difficult for the egg and sperm to meet. Let's look at uterine polyps. Polyps are small growths that protrude from the lining of the uterus. They can interfere with the implantation of a fertilized egg or cause abnormal bleeding, which can make it more difficult to determine the optimal time for conception. Adenomyosis, it is a condition in which the tissue that lines the uterus grows into the muscle tissue of the uterus. This can cause heavy, painful periods and can also make it difficult for an embryo to implant in the uterine lining. Uterine septum, a uterine septum is a condition in which a band of tissue grows down the middle of the uterus dividing it into two sections. This can interfere with implantation and increase the risk of miscarriage. Let's look at Ashman syndrome. It is a condition in which scar tissue forms inside the uterus, usually as a result of previous surgery or previous infection. This scar tissue can cause the walls of the uterus to stick together, making it difficult for the embryo to implant or grow. Cervical stenosis is another condition of the uterus in which the opening of the cervix is too small or closed, making it difficult for sperm to enter the uterus. Mullerian anomalies are also uterine defects. These are congenital defects of the female reproductive tract, including the uterus, cervix, vagina. These defects can include septate uterus, unicornate uterus, bicornate uterus, diadelphus uterus, and can interfere with implantation and increase the risk of pregnancy complications. Diagnosis typically involves a combination of medical history, physical examination, ultrasounds and treatments may include surgery to remove fibroids, polyps, scar tissue or to correct other anatomical defects. In some cases, fertility treatments such as IUI or IVF may be necessary and the only treatment option to achieve pregnancy. To know more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.